All right, Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Also, going to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well, and honors to all you fellow laborers that are kicking his word in sincerity and in faith. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Harakakwadash, Barakatham, to all you sincere listeners. And death and destruction to all of you who have come against his truth. And that's what the Lord is doing. He's prolonging your hell. Okay, you're, you're, you're making memes because Jake in the world, they're making memes about how January was the longest year. They're referring to the month of January as if it was a year. Yet for us, it seems like it just went went by real quick because ultimately, who's the Lord speeding the time up for? For the elect's sake. Yep. And there's guys like this, Saad Netter, which I'm going to play this video. He came against the truth and now look at him. All types of hell is coming upon himself and really is really self-inflicted. So I'm going to play this video and then we're going to hit some precepts. We pray it's edifying. Peace and black power, family. Peace and black power. This is your brother, Sarnetta, man. And I'm just, really, I'm going to go back out. Because I said to myself, I promised the wifey that I will fall back for a minute and just chill. Because I'm going to tell y'all, family, for real, man. Oh, man. I, I, I almost been gone. I was out of it for a minute. I was out of it. I was like... <sighs> I mean, I don't know. I just been chilling, fam. You know, because um, sometimes a man could take but so much. And I found myself almost being taken away from my family, man. On, on a lot of crazy shit. Y'all feel me? And I've been riding around in my motherfucking shit. You know, going places, looking at shit. And I just came up with the shit like, yo, man, I got to I gotta really get back to working. Because I seen my head going a whole nother area if y'all know what i'm talking about where i didn't give a fuck about nothing i didn't care what the fuck happened the disrespect sometime a man gotta be a man especially when you just dis constantly disrespecting the wife you know we hear all the time oh i'm looking for him i'm looking for you i'm don't let me catch you saw well the shift has switched because for some reason niggas think that I be, you know, uh, I just want to leave it like that. I'm not trying to threaten nobody. But what I will tell you is that you let a, a YouTube motherfucker run up on me. Let a YouTube nigga run up on me. And we'll see. I'm not threatening nobody. I'm just saying I'm really chilling now because I'm back. I chilled out for a minute for like two days off the internet and I feel a lot better. But I'm just telling you, <laughs> I don't really want to laugh because this is not no joke. But let a YouTube nigga run up on me. Let a YouTuber run up on me and think that shit is sweet. Think my motherfucking shit is sweet. Think my motherfucking shit is sweet, nigga. Think my motherfucking shit is sweet. Look, this, dude is, this, dude That's is, all? Uh, this dude is a, a felon. And he riding around with a pistol, man, in New York. New York, yeah, yeah. You get all types of all types of uh, time for that. Yeah, but this, say it again. No, I was saying a nigga Lil Wayne had to sit down for that shit. Yeah, he had to sit down for what, two, three years? Yeah, he had to sit down some time. Mm hmm. Caught out there in New York with a toolie on him. Mm hmm. Oh, well, keep the sneak. Oh, man. He got to go to prison. <laughs> he got to go, he got to he got to do 16 months. And he got to, he got a shit bag, man. He had a wheelchair. He said, I don't care. You see? Hey, man, it's a, hey, it's cold. If you don't, if you don't worship Yahweh Bashim Shai, you through. All right, and that's and that's the time that we're in, and it's being made crystal clear. Sorry. All right, hey, if you with us, if you're not with us, you against us, and if you are against us, you through. And this is a prime example. Look at Son Netter just three, four years ago. He wasn't in that spirit. He's clearly out of his mind, man. But you know what? The Lord did did it to this nigga. All right. You got something, brother? Yeah, go ahead, brother. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 8 and 50. Mm. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world. And we're in the latter times, obviously. We're obviously at the end of America. And all the news that's coming out is how depressed and through people are, man. How everybody want to give up. Why? Because miseries is coming upon them. And why are our miseries coming upon them? Because of their pride. Go ahead. Because they have walked in great pride. That's right. You people, you ain't got nobody to blame but yourselves. Your own wickedness is accusing you. Oh, like the so-called white man. He like to talk about, well, why we call you the devil? 
Well, Apostle Gabar, he's been saying it repeatedly in the spirit. We're going to have a series. This is why we call you the devil. Because mm -hmm. you've been walking in great pride. You've been, you've been offending everybody. Oh, like Tom Brokaw, he said Mexicans need to do a better job of integrating. So now he's under the hot seat. So now miseries is coming upon him. You say any little thing against Israel, what's going to happen? You're going to get fired. Yep. Or it's going to be people protesting against you. All right? Oh, and then you jakes. You catching all types of hell. You getting shot. You getting shot in the stomach. Then they'll tell you to roll over on your stomach. <laughs> good, good. You know? But it's because you're walking in great pride. You're not humbling yourself to y'all about Shemiah and Shai. All right, go ahead, brother. All right, what else? Right, Come on. Go. Now go ahead, Shamar, and you you got it after the words. Manazah. It's uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 28. Mm. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Oh, that's Sad Nutter. He's mad. You can look at him and clearly tell that he's crazy. Yeah. And he, he pretty much admitted such before he pulled out the, the, the toolie, the pistol. Yep. He said, look, man, I had to take two days. You know, my mind was going somewhere else. What does that mean? He's dealing with them demons. He's smited with madness. Well, look, we're looking at a billboard. She's bugged out of her mind. Androgyny. Androgyny. Yeah, she got a high top fade. It's a woman. In a suit. In a suit. That's now, that's a, that's a woman that wants to be a man. That's yep. trying to take on the spirit of a man. Yep. Go ahead, brother. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. But she's mad and Saw Nutter's mad. Okay. Oh, and ain't nobody as crazy as you so-called black woman. You're totally, you're totally out of your mind. You woman, period. Y'all are smited with madness. The, the Israelite woman. And you're getting crazier and crazier because you're you're fully exposed. You're getting rejected. Hey, there's old saying, rejection hurts. And you so-called uh, black woman, you so-called white man, you, you're getting rejected all over the globe, man. You see? So you're getting more mad. You jakes who love the so-called white man, you're losing your mind. Because Sonetta loves the so-called white man. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. If you speak against us, it's because you love the so-called white man. Yep. Sure. And what's the old saying? Misery loves company. Woo! You know? So all these people are miserable. So what? They want, they're just trying to seek some form of comfort. Yeah. And they band together to come against us. Sure. Because they're not miserable. Yep. They want, they want to bring us down to a miserable state so then they can accuse us. <laughs> That's how sick these people are. But go ahead, brother. The Lord shall smite thee with madness mm -hmm. and blindness mm -hmm. and astonishment of heart. Mm. Go ahead. And thou shalt grope at noonday. Oh, he's groping at noonday, man. Yeah. They out there. It's, it's a sunny day. Everybody got shorts on, but they groping, man. They lost. And that's why they all fell out. They all broke up. Who knows? Where, where's polite, man? You need to put a Where's Waldo IPB out on his ass. You'll see him no more. Oh, he said to hell with you damn niggas. So you can't, you can't, he said you can't teach Jake. He said that. He did a video, he said, man, you, you can't even teach these these jakes. Uh, 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 General Fruity Tahuti, he locked up yeah. in Washington. But he was, he, he was selling the oids. <laughs> right, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Yeah, he was selling the oids. So, so he threw. Who else was in there? Uh, it was Polite. Uh, why sure, uh, what's his name? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, no teeth. Where, where, no teeth. <laughs> Yeah, the Gerber baby. The Gerber baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Gerber baby. I forgot about him. What happened to that guy? But go ahead, brother. <laughs> and that's how grope at noonday. Uh-huh. As the blind grope up in darkness. Oh, yeah, yeah, and they're blind. Uh, Romans 11 and 7. Mm, yeah. Yeah, get that real quick. Yeah, yeah get that real quick. So this is Romans 11 and 7. Uh-huh. It says, what then Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for? And what is Israel seeking? The truth. And we have the truth. Stop looking for the truth. You're looking at the truth. That's it. All right? 144%. That's right. We say that in all humility. We got to let you know that we got the truth because everybody else, else out here is telling you lies. Mm -hmm. So we got to tell you that we got the full truth. Start with our apostles and elders. Okay? But well, go ahead, brother. But the election have obtained it. There you go. The election have obtained it. And that's how we live our lives, as if we're of the elect. Go ahead. According as it is no, 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 you, you, you wish, you, uh, I think you missed the point. And the rest were blinded. There you go. And the rest blinded. were blinded. Read that from the top, brother. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what then Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh Go ahead. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And the rest were blinded. And that's a curse <laughs> going back to what the brother's bringing out in Deuteronomy. Read that again, brother. And we're going to go back to the video. Good, good, good. Uh, back in Deuteronomy? Yeah. yeah. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Oh, you see, they're not prospering. The only ones that's prospering in their ways is the Israelites, the brothers in the truth. 
The brothers in the truth, believe it or not, you like to call us bums. Oh, and you got that guy, New Earth Son. He's trying to do all those expose videos. But he's on my video now trying to add on. And you dudes, but you know why he's doing that? Because he smited with madness. It's as if he completely forgot that he did all them videos trying to destroy me. Now we're the best of friends. Because you you reprobate, what you're seeing is the Lord is with us. Defeat is starting to set in. Yep, yep. And you're seeing that your ways aren't prospering. Why? Because you're still heavy under them curses. See, the Lord is lifting his, the curses off of his men. That's what's, that's what's happening. Why? Because we're being obedient to the word of Yahweh Shai. We're doing what's required of us. Yet, you people who are without, you're catching more and more hell, man. And it's only going to get worse. Many great miseries. And then tell you in 2nd Ezra the 16th child, this is just the beginning of sorrows, man. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to play this video and there's memes out about how long this uh this year's been. We just in, Fe what is it, February 2nd, 3rd? It's oh, only the 2nd. It just people, said it. people are already ready for 2020, man. <laughs> man, I can't wait for 2020. Man, 2019 just started. Yeah. Uh, they, they, um, and we don't get the memes that say, oh, 2019, uh, two, uh, January 2019 was a rough year. That's what people saying. Okay, okay. And, um, and Sam Netter is a part of that. Yep. Well, I'm going to tell you. Think my motherfucking shit is sweet. Think my motherfucking shit is sweet. I'm ready to go all out for mines, man. Niggas play a lot of motherfucking games. Don't tell me to stop. Niggas threatening me. I take that shit serious. I take a lot of that shit serious. They say it's better to get caught with it with them without it. Well, goddamn it, I just gotta take my chances at this time. Cause niggas been threatening my life. Don't tell me to put shit down and my life is gone. See, then how would you feel after that? Damn, I was wrong. I told that nigga put that shit down. I was wrong. Yeah, it's asked the black one. But I, I got my head back to focus. I'm good. I'm not threatening nobody. I'm back on. And I'm not trying to hurt nobody. And I'm just glad that I was able to relax for two fucking days, man. Because I really mellowed out. I really cooled out. You know what I'm saying? I really cooled the fuck out. I really took a chill pill, man. Mm -hmm. But I'm falling back, family. I'm not. I'm done with that shit. You know why? Because I felt myself almost being taken away from my family because I was getting into that fucking mindset again where I didn't give a fuck. I didn't give a fuck what happened. I just didn't. You know, sometime when a motherfucker reach that level where you that don't care no more, that's where I found myself going. Okay. And when I seen the tears in my wifey eyes, that's what made me say, you know what? That's why I'm in the car right now doing this shit. Because I, I don't want to be around her doing this. You feel me? You that's why I'm in the car. I don't want to be around her. I can't, I can't do it no more. Enough is enough. I'm hurting my wife. I'm hurting my fucking wife with these niggas. <laughs> so, I'm done with it, man. I'm done with the beef, and I'm going to let homeboy say what the fuck he want to say from now on. And I know y'all hear me say that all the time, but shit was real. <laughs> shit got real like a couple of days ago. And I seen where the fuck I was going. I seen where I was headed. So now, I really got to fall back, man. Wifey crying. My children thinking something wrong with me, like like I'm not coming back home, and maybe I don't. I don't know. So I really got to fall back, y'all. Homeboy, you win. Say what you want, man. I'm out. I'm done. Say what you want about my wife, brother. I'm done. Because she told me, so, baby, I don't care. I don't care what he say about you. I don't care what he say about me. He don't know me. So say what you want, man. I'm going to put this shit down. I'm going to put it down. I'm not playing with this shit no more. I'm putting it up. I'm putting this shit up. I'm not playing with it no more. You heard? I'm not playing with it no more. I'm putting it down. I'm done. Fuck it. No more beef with me, y'all. I'm done. He bugged out, man. He bugged out. But that's, that's what the Lord will do to you. All right, when you when you come against his men, 
So do we uh, feel sorry for him? Of course not. He reaping what he sowed. Yeah. Oh, and then I'm, I'm looking at these. I'm going to pull up these memes. Mm -hmm. Time flies, people say, unless you're living in January 2018, in which the case saying is time has been crystallized and we are never making it out of this month. Despite the odds, January has ended. Let us be thankful and reflect on the memory of this long, long month in your mind with these 15 tweets and Instagrams. I can finish the last little section of the scripture, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, that's good, that's good. Uh, this uh, Deuteronomy, back in Deuteronomy 28 and 29, and thou shalt grope at noonday as a blind groping in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed mm. and spoil evermore, mm. and no man shall save thee. Oh, hey, hey, ain't nobody coming for Sot Netter, man. That's why he's like that. See, us, we have hope. What's the hope yeah. that we're going to be delivered by Yahweh Shai? Mm -hmm. well, we have strong expectation in that. Well, you have to leave his God. He said, you know, I have to leave. I have to leave her. You know, they don't know. I might not come back. You can see it in his eyes, man. Yeah. He was, that's a strong consideration. Because <laughs> you know when you're about to, you, you know when you're about to die. Yeah. Right. The Lord put put it on your spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why you got oh, Tupac and Biggie. Yep. Prime yep. examples. Yep. What were their albums? Life After Death. All eyes on me. All I, yeah. What was the other one? Life Machiavelli. after Machiavelli. Yeah. yeah. They, cause you, cause you know, man, and he know, he know that death is coming. Death and then we the telling him death around the corner, mm -hmm. and we tell him that death is coming because you came against the word of Yahweh right. Shimon Shai as yeah. being um, brought out by the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's the uh, <laughs> here's the little memes. Thirty days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest have thirty-one, except for fucking January, which is about seven fucking hundred. When would this god awful month end? <laughs> through going through it. Y'all just celebrated to enter into it. Right. Everybody was turning up to get into the month. Now you want to get out of it. Good. Yep. And I'm just I'm just strolling through some of them. It dead ass feels like January seventy fourth. Woke up to, to realize that today is still January. Yeah, it went by fast for me. I had a conversation with one of my clients. I was like, <laughs> damn, it's about to, uh, you know, it's about to be February, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, you brothers can bring out precepts because I'm just, I'm just strolling good, through. Good, Whatever good. precepts you got, then we'll, we'll wrap up because we, we just uh, uh, are at the spot where we park to go and do the work. Well, I, I got a precept. Come on, just bring them out. Uh, I'll start at the top, but the point, the point is in um, verse verse 8. This is 2 Peter 3 and 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which uh, which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord, of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. That's right. Break it down. Yeah, pretty much. These people are looking at looking at uh, uh, everything carnally with a carnal eye. You know, they're not looking at things spiritually. Our right, chiefly two thirds of our people. You know, so they're saying, "Hey, man, you've been saying that, man. Things been going on. Years been passing by. Well, we're we're talking about how people are looking at January as a whole entire year. You know, oh man, let it be over with. You know." We're not. No, oh, so like you got it, brother. Oh no, I was gonna say. Well, uh, people, there's a saying in the world: time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. So what does that mean? They're, they're not people, having fun. They're not having fun. You That's know, right. uh, many great miseries mm. are befalling these people. You know, because of their wickedness, their pride. Just as this guy saw Netta. Mm -hmm. right, this, a couple years ago, he was in his pride. You know, mm. uh, uh, talking shit. You know. Oh yeah. Against the Israelites. Yep. Well, he said he was an Israelite at one point. Mm-hmm. You know, let me uh let me bring this out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is uh James one and eight. Yep. Mm. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Are right, he riding around with a pistol? You know he got suicidal thoughts too. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Probably put it in his mouth, took it out real quick, you know, load it, take the bullet out, look at the bullet. You know, he's going he's going crazy right now. And you can see he, and he, and he, and he him going crazy is is present before all. Yep. You know, which is judgment is being um, manifested. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, being yeah. manifested before all. This is part. This is his judgment right here. And then you're gonna see the ultimate fall of him. Just as Esau, you're seeing his judgment. The curse is falling upon him. And then it's the ultimate judgment is gonna be when the nuclear missiles hit. You know, to so all those who came against the prophets, you know, who come against the truth, they're suffering great judgment. And, and part of that is the Lord slowing down the time for your ass okay. so you can catch more hell. You know. <laughs> 
Yep. Brother yeah, Brother yeah, I just finish it off. Uh, back in Second Peter chapter three, verse five. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Talking about during the time of Noah when the Lord flooded the uh, the earth by way of water. Uh, verse seven. But the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word are kept in store. Reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. That's right. So so time a a time is going it goes slow down here, alright? But in the spiritual realm, you know, dealing with the time of, of the Heavenly Father, a hey, things are moving quick. And the more the more Jake, the more brothers are more in the spirit, all right, and we're we're just uh, uh, we're um we're discerning the signs of the times, man. All right, we're getting more in the spirit. Things are moving quickly for us, you know. Hey, this is the time for us to shine. The prophecies are coming to pass. Well, we're yeah. occupied in prophecy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So if you're occupied, right, the time is gonna go uh, quicker. quicker. Yeah. All right, but if you're occupied in folly, what's that gonna happen? You can't even get the pleasure that you once had with the folly here. You mm -hmm. know, the folly, the murk of Babylon is gone. So you're chasing after that first high, which that first high, you're never going to be able to obtain that high again. Basically, uh, Babylon being in its, you know, its uh, elite state, you know, as so as Babylon is crumbling down and falling. All right. The people of Babylon, you know, the halted people of Babylon, they're also falling. Yep. You know, and they're feeling the squeeze just as the economy, just as the so-called white man is feeling the squeeze. You know, and part of that is the Lord, like uh, like the, uh, the elder, the brothers are going into, you know, you people catching more hell and, and it's being slowed down. You know? Like, That's the one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you before, you out. Well, you had the government shut down. You had yeah. all these different natural disasters. <laughs> you so had, I, well, you had uncertainty coming into the year. You had anxiety yeah. going into the beginning of the year. Right. So if, he if, threw. if, yeah, he so threw, if you... He threw. Yeah, Esau threw. <laughs> so if you have anxiety going into the whole year, what is that going to do? That's just going to increase in... Uh, and intensity. Yep. Okay, going into Fe February going to be a hell of a, a hell of a month. Yeah. Okay. Shortest month going to feel like the longest. Okay. That's right. That's right. All right, you brothers got anything else? I got some. This, uh, Come on. <laughs> Matthew's 24 <laughs> and, tw uh, and 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days should be shortened. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Mm -hmm. For the elect. It's out. It, it feels quick. Yeah. But for you people who who ain't of the elect, you people who's wicked, you're evil. You feeling like this? Wh what you see on the screen? That's right. All right. That's it. Yeah, that was it. All right. So we're gonna wrap up. All praise, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Yeah. Prepare to catch even more hell like this dude uh, that you're looking at, man. He's <laughs> he's going through it, man. Going through it. <laughs> he, he going through it. All right. Shalom to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.